Welcome to Toffee TV. It is my three talking points. Ipswich Town, nil Everton, two at Portman Road this afternoon. Great win for the Toffees. Deserved win as well, in all fairness. Pretty comfortable afternoon's work for Sean Dyche's men. Um, and they're absolutely delighted with it. We will be absolutely delighted with that. Back-to-back -back clean sheets. Good little, you know, what is it, four games unbeaten now. So, um can, if we can follow that up next Saturday with a win against Fulham, we'll be in a, a decent position. The first thing I want to talk about today, because it was a routine win today, and I thought I thought they defended really well. I thought the back four looked nice and solid. I gave Mike, Michael Keane man of the match on my match reaction. I thought he had a really good game, took his goal brilliantly well. I thought Ashley Young had a decent game, so did Michalenko on the other side, and Jordan Pickford with everything he had to do he did with the ease and you know that gives you that basis to play from doesn't it and you know that's that's gonna be key that was what stood us in good stead last season this season already we've given too many cheap goals away uh, today we had a couple of moments that on other days we might not got away with jack clark's one early on at nil nil he's got to do better with that and then um, we could have found ourselves in a bit of trouble there and then the short corner, oh sorry, the corner where at the end it's a free hit. You know, they're 10 runs in and it's a free hit into the floor and Pickford gathers it, those little moments. But other than that, overall, thought Everton defended really well and um, gave us that victory. And at that sort of my first point, my first talking point today is that if you can give yourself that basis to build from, and we did it really well today, we did... We can give ourselves that basis to build from. Then we have to get the other, the the play at the final third right. Now we scored two goals today, two really well taken goals, but we've passed up. I think we've ended with nine shots on target, eight or nine shots on target, and some of them have been poor finishes. Dominic Calvert Lewin guilty of three really not very good finishes, shall we put it like that, and then. Um, we have to be more clinical. We simply have to be more clinical. If we if we can defend resolutely and keep it tight and then hit teams on the counter-attack the way we did today, because at times we did play some good football today, front foot football, football that I think Everton should be playing every single week, regardless of the opposition. Now, I know that sometimes it's not, you know, you don't have good games or sometimes the opposition are just better but it's like that anyway. I've never understood trying to, you know, I understand if for four games or something near the end of the season or six games and you need some wins and you try to be sort of defensive, but I've never understood why you give the impetus up to the opposition every game and hope that you nick a set piece. And well, I don't think we did that today. And that for me is the thing that'll carry Everton forward uh, over something that will mean we're hanging on when I don't like this squad is way way better than than some people give it credit for and way better than a squad that should be battling relegation in my opinion other opinions are available but I've watched a lot of football so in my mind and what I see is I see a squad that could again I'm not going to change my mind I said it at the start 11 to 14 there's, there's no for me there should be a com that's a comfortable comfortable aim in my opinion so that's why I think we should be going after teams and we did it today and when we did it today we cut through them that is where the clinicalness needs to come in and I'm talking Calvert Luna who thought he had a really good game as a, from a centre forward perspective today strong elder up well really good running intelligent running off the ball finishing got to be sharper than that I don't understand why he doesn't dink the ball more over keepers I really don't. Goalies go down. They lay down early in this league and, and spread themselves. Lift it. That practice every day. Every day. If he'd have done that. And we've seen him do it. You know, we have seen him think it over people. That's That should be his finish. But if we can get that sort of, not just him, by the way, be clinical in front of goal and defend the way we did, we will be more than fine this season. We really will. Um, because the defence does have to give you that platform, but you can't always rely on the defence to keep a clean sheet. You have to be able, when you get those opportunities, to take some. We've won the game today, and, and that's all I'm saying. That it, it could have been 
a bigger margin. But if you're gonna, you know, if you're nitpicking and you, that's what it's for, isn't it? How can we get better? It's can we be a little bit more clinical? I personally think we can be. Let's see. Second thing is the squad. We need to get players fit. We know that, obviously, at the moment. We're missing Tim Iraboonham. We're missing James Garner. We were missing Jared Branthwaite today. We're missing um, Jesper Linsom from the squad. We know Armando Breuer isn't fit yet. We know Yusuf Chimiti isn't there yet either. So if we can get those players back. Seamus Coleman's just come back. Nathan Patterson's just returned, so they were on the bench today. Then it'll give the manager a lot of options and a lot of choices to make. Players, you need your squad fit. It puts pressure on everybody. And players who, in general, not every player, because some players can wilt under the pressure. They, they like to sort of know that they're a first team, a first teamer, if you like, someone who's going to be picked more often than not, and you get the best out of them that way. But a lot of players play on the edge and, and play that competition that someone coming to take my place drives them and gives them that extra boost. And that's what we need. We need these, everybody scrapping for that shit. Everybody, you know, and again, I still still don't think the manager uses his subs well enough. I really don't. I think he doesn't create that within the squad. That belief, you know, where they're making, half, you know, five changes, Bournemouth, five changes, you know, them kind of things. We have to be able, have that ability to make those changes. Yes, they'll that'll be easier when we've got our full squad, absolutely. But we still need to be freshening it up now. And um, I think he needs to get better at that. But we need our players back, definitely. These players get fit, start putting the pressure on. Because when everyone's fit, you know, there are options. There's absolutely different choices to make. There's different options. And... Um, yeah, the more we do that, the, the the more players we get fit, the better we will be overall. And the third thing is, we give ourselves an opportunity now. Today's win is the fourth game we haven't lost for. We've had two clean sheets in that time. I think we've conceded two goals in four games now, which was, you know, the first few games were three, three, four, three, wasn't it? The first three league games, so 10 goals in them games. Then we went to Villa, it was another three. So, you know, 13 goals in the first four games. But things have got better, and now it's our opportunity to build on it. We know that the back end of November and December, there's real tough games to come. But we're in a little space now where we've got Fulham at home next week, which is winnable. They're a good side, don't get me wrong, but that's winnable. We then go to Southampton, which is winnable. They've lost again today and they were 2-0 up, but that's winnable. Um, we then go to West Ham, which is which is tricky, but they're not in great form either. So that's a game we can look at. Then we've got the international break. By that international break, you would hope the, the other side of that is when Chimiti is available. Breuer, Breuer should be back in the next couple of weeks. So we might even be back this side of the international break. We can get the Iribune and back then as well. Then we're going into games after that. We've got Brentford, Manchester United before we get into December. If we can start adding some points on now, we will ensure that we're mid-table and not really in any danger. There's a four-point gap right now, I think, between third bottom and us. So can we extend that? Home game to come next week, can we extend it? Can we spread that because if we do that, it just takes the pressure off the players, doesn't it? it? Takes the pressure off us as a fan base. We can sort of okay, we want better, of course we do. We want more attack and football, of course we do. You know, a lot of people want a new manager, a new CEO, whatever. All of those things will come in time. They absolutely will. The freaking group will make big changes. We know that. But for us, it would be lovely to just have a season where it, there's a bit of peace of mind. I, I think we'll be fine anyway. I've said it all along. But we're in a little spell now where we need to get some victories as well. And next week represents a great opportunity to win. Like I said, it'll be really tough. Marco Silva, big fan of Marco. I think he's he's done a really good job of full and making them they're a, they're a tough side to play against. Got some good players, very attacking. But 
it's a game ever at Goodison Park with the with the fans behind us. It's a game we can absolutely win. And then we'd be into sort of double figures when we'd be into 11 points then and then going, right, OK, build from this perspective. So we've got a good opportunity now. It's what we do now. Three games before that international break. Can we go three games, the next three unbeaten? If we went the next three unbeaten, we'd be eight games unbeaten, which would be a tremendous run. And let's be honest, Fulham are home, Southampton away. OK, West Ham City, but... You know, if you've beat Spulham and Southampton at home, then a draw at West Ham's great. If Evan could get sort of seven of the next nine, that'll be a tremendous return. So that's what we've got to do. We've got to be looking up. Of course, you get beat by Fulham next week at home. It's almost back to square one, another home game without winning. But the other way is the reward if we win. The reward for us is right. Keep making that gap between the bottom three and ourselves bigger and bigger. And then as the influx of players are coming back from injury, the, the takeovers coming in and all of that, there's almost, almost reason to be optimistic. So that's what I'm going to leave you with tonight. Make sure you like, subscribe. Watch the Agent Heath interview uh, on Inside the Game, the Inside the Game podcast. It's brilliant, especially if you're never told me. It's great, but it's brilliant anyway. Lots on there. Um, otherwise, have a fantastic weekend. Thanks to everybody who's watched, like, done all that stuff. Have a great weekend. See you later.